Hi, I'm Dr. Sonia Rappaport, and I'm very pleased to have with me today Dr. Nathan Morris. Dr. Morris is a board-certified family physician and IFM-certified functional medicine doctor who has practiced root cause medicine for nearly 20 years. His practice is called Good Medicine Colorado, and it's in Colorado Springs. It's a multidisciplinary functional medicine practice which focuses on making the complex simple, something we really need in the world today. Dr. Morris is also the chief medical officer of both Atrium Innovations Pro Brands and of Ravel Health, which is an online platform that connects patients with providers specializing in Lyme and chronic illness, currently just in Colorado. Dr. Morris co-developed Pure Genomics platform that uses a personalized medicine approach to empower patients to understand their uniqueness and their strengths. I've personally had the pleasure of knowing and collaborating with Dr. Morris for the past 11 years, and I'm super excited that he'll be joining us in North Carolina for the Southeast Regional Integrative Medicine Conference, June 13th through the 15th, where he'll be presenting on the impact of mast cell activation on the GI tract and its role in chronic illness. Thank you for being here today. Well, thank you, Sonia. I sure appreciate the opportunity to be here and to uh, speak in June. Well, tell me, how did you end up becoming a mast cell activation syndrome expert? Well, that's kind of funny. You use the word expert. You know, I think I'm a, uh, I, I'm a uh, expert, if you would call it that. I, I, I'm not sure knowing Tanya Dancy and all the people that are really, really uh, extraordinary at this disease, you included. You know, but I think it becomes a, a more of a, a, a necessity as you're dealing with patients. Um, and that's the thing I've learned in functional medicine. You, you kind of get your certification uh, or you get your uh, wherever you get that and you think, oh, I've got everything I need. And then you realize that the complexity is much more than you imagined and you discover mold and you discover Lyme. And then you even discover underneath these, there's even more, there's even more basic layer. And that's where immune dysfunction really comes in. And then you, you figure out that this immune dysfunction has uh, some very basic uh, outline causes uh, and the mast cell um, aspect of disease uh, is really important because that's our first line of defense. And if we have dysfunction there, it's going to cause the whole immune system to have dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And so with that dysfunction, um, we really have to understand what's presenting as irritable bowel syndrome, what is in, uh, presenting as things that we, uh, depression or mental illness of some type, and, and how these are playing a role uh, in things that don't seem very histamine related or mast cell related, which are, you know, we always were taught in med school, uh, this is for parasites and this is for anaphylactic reactions. And, uh, you know, with over 20% of the U.S. population having this issue and nobody's really talking about it, and especially with what we have coming into our practice uh, in functional medicine, especially with the what me and you have kind of gotten uh, specialized in, which is the complex chronically ill patient, uh, you've got to know this issue or you, you're really not going to have the success um, that you would like with your patients. So tell, tell us a little bit more about what makes you think that a patient might have mast cell activation. What are some of the symptoms that might alert you to well, that? They're, as they're breathing, they have a pulse. And they, <laughs> they're alive. You know, that, that's how high my suspicion is. I, I think, unfortunately, and I'm not to get into the magic hammer uh, scenario, which I know is a big problem as we go into functional medicine or any type of medicine, you know, everything starts becoming a nail when we have this magic hammer. But I've been doing really looking at mast cells hard for the last six to seven years. And I'll tell you, they've surprised me uh, in places I'm like, oh, you know, oh, you don't get hives or you don't get unexplained rashes and you don't have allergies. But come to find out, you know, when you look at the list that uh, I think it was Larry Afrin put together in his paper that showed all the symptoms and every symptom uh, from every disease process has a mast cell component to it. You realize that you have to keep a super high index of suspicion because um, I'm about to do a talk on uh, irritable bowel syndrome. Well, guess what the number one player in irritable bowel syndrome is? It's the mast cell. It, it's the it's the thing that's sitting there ready to fire off all of these uh, 200 plus uh, enzymes and and chemokines and all these things and cytokines that 
are, are going to affect the, the bowel and eventually going to affect the brain. So, you know, no matter where I go and what I lecture on, um, it really connects. It, it really connects with a lot of things and, and immune dysfunction, inflammation connects with everything. But I think it's one of the big players of immune dysfunction. And and that's kind of where I want to explore is, you know, where where does, and even below that, we can say, oh, mast cell is causing these issues. Um, but that, that, oh, we can put them on this medication, this medication, and this medication, but that's still not root cause. Why is mast cell an issue now more so than it ever has been? And that's really getting to the root cause of it. And, and, and for, you know, as we'll see uh, in my presentation, I'm really going to take the practitioner to that root cause as because I, I just can't be, okay, here, I'm going to give them uh, this type of medicine. And, th and there's a lot. I mean, we've got a lot of things we can give patients for, for mast cell, but it's still not understanding why the mast cells are reacting the way they are. They're very important. They're not good or bad, but the message they're getting, what message are they getting and why are they responding that way? That's what we want to understand. Wonderful. And can you give us a little teaser as to, um, you know, there's a lot of theory and scientific research in this area, but how will your lecture help our attendees when they go home the next day and start treating their patients? Well, I'm a pretty simple guy. I, I tend to, I don't like complexity in that I don't like to have, I want to understand what I can do on Monday that's going to help my patients. And, and I have really studied this at length, um, not just saying oh, mast cells connected to everything, but what what is the the root cause and how do we address that? And, and I will actually, Sonia, you've heard this a thousand times before. Most of the listeners have heard this a thousand times before, but mast cell dysfunction, it, it can be caused by a number of things, you know, um, is, is, you know, chicken or the egg is mold causing the mast cell or is the mast cell allowing the mold to cause problems, the line, these sort of things. But I'll tell you what I know from the research I've been doing, and it's not been looked at a whole bunch, um, is the connection of the, you know, the mast cell in the, the, the gut, um, how that's affected by yeast and clostridia overgrowth, dysbiosis. Um, and when we, you know, what I'm taking is some very, you know, my clinic, just like yours, some very, very complex patients, but I'm taking these people back and they've seen a lot of different providers and they've been on some very fancy regimens. And I go back and I do the really basic things. Um, and I really understand, you know, uh, how hypoxia, sleep apnea, uh, stress, the role of sympathetic nervous system on mast cells, but most of all, you know, really how do we go into that gut, correct this dysbiosis and really change the whole mast cell picture so that we can start seeing healing in the other areas, um, that we're, we're struggling with instead of, you know, creating these super duper amazing regimens that patients can't follow, we can do some very basic things and get phenomenal results. Um, and that's what blows me away is the simplicity sometimes of this that we've made so complex. And, and some people thrive on complexity. I am not one of those people. I just have to keep it simple just so I can understand it. Maybe that's the power or my, my, uh, my, weakness. that's your superpower. It actually is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wonderful. I am so excited to hear your lecture and to see you present in June. And um, I hope our audiences as well. Thank you again, Dr. Nathan. Thank you, Sonia. For... Always great to see you. Likewise. Take care.